Yes. I have a two-part story to tell. Part one, a ship on its way to Antarctica to study disappearing ice due to global warming got trapped in the ice. <laughs> Part two, ha, 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 ha. According to the Huffington <laughs> Post, the ship needed three icebreakers to rescue it oh my God. and all failed. So it sat there like Al Gore wedged in a manhole. Thankfully, all were rescued, but the HuffPo, like others, neglected to say that the scientists were there to study global warming. Instead, you got this stuff. Before their ship got stuck in the ice in the middle of a blizzard, the explorers were on a tour of historic sites in Antarctica. Now, it's simply a rescue mission. As the Australian maritime experts ponder what next, the crew of the ship say they have enough food and provisions. So scientists keep busy with research, and passengers keep the world up to date. So why no mention of the mission? Because it doesn't fit their story. But no worries, the stuck ship still proves global warming. Expedition leader Chris Turney says they were trapped in old ice from an iceberg that broke off ages ago. So while less ice proves global warming, more ice does too. What a great business. Mm. Look, some say Antarctic ice is disappearing, but others say it's grown to a new record two years in a row with satellite data from 92 to 2008 showing a net gain. So who's right? I'm no scientist, although I tell people that in bars, but I know not to trust those who make money off panic, be it environmental or otherwise. The same people who scream global cooling now scream warming and shout heathen when you point to new cooling data. The missing polar bears are now back, so let's bring up vanishing ice, which is no longer vanishing. So unlike that vessel stuck in the ice, I'm thinking this climate change ship has sailed. And you can't blame it on the weather, but on a strident ideology that's put real science on ice for decades to come. So, uh, KG, yeah. you, I watched you absorb that monologue. I thought it was riveting. Uh, either that or you were asleep. <laughs> I'm bone cold. Everybody falls it. asleep when we talk about global warming. Are you surprised that the media ignores that story, that, that part no, of it? No, but how biased is it? It's so obvious. This is a, a whole, the whole point of the expedition was they were going to go to Antarctica and they were going to study global warming, what a disaster it is. And instead, they got trapped. And then they got another rescue about the Chinese trapped. You might like that, Bob. And so this is, this is the point of the story. Yeah. You're going there to study something, yet you're frozen, trapped in ice. What does that tell you? It also tells me that this was a 35 year record high in 2013 for Antarctic sea ice, just so you know. Yeah. Isn't it amazing?